Hey, how's everyone doing today? Uh, I first want to start off by thanking everybody for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting on my videos. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I never, never really wanted to be a YouTuber, but I was super mad one day. My very first video, I'd lost a job, and it just, I was having a moment, and I made a video, and here I am now. But I'm having a blast doing these, and I really appreciate all you guys. Uh, I'll do what I can to help. I'm by no means the best at any of this stuff, but I give a hell trying. But anyways, uh, I got a comment the other day on making a video on how I bid work and how I price my work out, the the goods and the, the good jobs the jobs went good and the jobs went bad but anyways i started making that and it got super long so i'm gonna i'm gonna split it up that way i don't bore the crap out of you guys i'll make i'll make them back to back that way you know you got them there and they're not crazy long and not drawn out and me rambling on about dumb crap for 45 minutes but anyways uh I'll tell you guys how I price my work is I try not to bid nothing. I mean, I hate bidding work, but they, uh, I know some places want you to do it. Uh, I usually just work by the hour and the, most of the people that I work for knows that I just work by the hour. I'm not, I don't screw them by charging them more than what I need to. I don't, I mean, I show up, I work and I don't just stand around not doing nothing. So they'll mean they get their money's worth. But anyways, uh, but the few jobs that I have bid out and priced out is I kind of guesstimate how, about how long it's gonna take me by half days and days. That way, if I think it's only gonna take me a couple hours, I do, I give them like a half day price. So yeah, it'll probably be around this and that way if you run over just a little bit you're covered and if you're under they're gonna be happy um, but just whatever you guys charge an hour just do it by half days and days I mean it, it seems like it's worked it's worked pretty good for me and as far as uh, your material whenever you get your material make sure you get it like material prices are crazy right now. I mean, it's jumping all over the place. So I'll have a story about that here on a job that didn't go good, or I'll put I'll put that little story in there somewhere. But whenever uh, whenever you guys go out to price your work, price it by a day, half day. Uh, if you think it's going to take you a half day, price it a whole day. If it's going to take you, if you think it's going to take you a day, price it for a day and a half, and give them a, a big ballpark be like hey it could be anywhere from two to five hundred dollars depending on what I run into and like plus material tell them say hey materials crazy right now if you guys want to go buy it go buy it if not I'll go buy it and get a deposit on some of this bigger stuff I mean if you got to go out and buy a twenty dollar piece of metal you know I always just done that and added it in but if it's something you're gonna to have to buy $1, 12, 13, 1400 dollars worth of metal, get a deposit before you go buy it. That way you don't get stuck with it if they cancel the job. But that's kind of been my rule of thumb is once I got over a uh, hundred dollars, then I would get them to go ahead and pay me for the material. And uh as far as bidding like real bidding work I had a job that I actually had to do a proposal and stuff and I wrote in well my my wife she helped me out a lot thanks to her this job would have been this job would have been a mess if it wasn't for her helping me but anyway she wrote up my proposal and make it made it sound really good and legit and she added in you know it'll be this much and whatever an hour for unseen whatever I can't remember how she worked but uh, but yeah, if it wasn't for that, I mean that big job, I, what I bid on it, it was double by the end. I'll 
I'll make a video on that one too, because that's a video all in itself. I mean, that was a, I mean, that was a big job. It was the first big job I had as a, well, first really big job I had when I first started. But, uh, but yeah, the proposal stuff. Just put, just make sure you cover yourself. Uh, put in, you know, put in your bid stuff that it's this much unless just for what they asked you to do and don't do no more don't do no less um, and if somebody comes up and they keep adding stuff to a job if you're working on something they're like, oh can you do this can you do that can you do this can you do that be like yeah but you know if it's tacking a little bolt on say yeah i'll do that for you real fast and you tack a bolt on but if they start adding a bunch of stuff to them stop them in their tracks right then and there and say hey if you want me to do all this i'm gonna have to charge you more uh, I've run into that and it wasn't I mean the guy didn't like it but I mean it is what it is uh, let's see and as far as your material stuff if you go get it tack you like depending on how much the price is charge a percentage for picking it up charge anywhere from 5 to 20 percent if it's a big big purchase charge you know make you 30 40 bucks off of it i try to i don't try to screw nobody but i mean if i go get a 20 dollar piece of metal then i'll upcharge it like 10 or 15 percent if i go get two thousand dollars worth of metal or if i price in two thousand dollars worth of metal i'm only going to charge them like three or four percent because i mean that's a lot of money on that i mean you don't want to i mean they're already paying a thousand dollars for that metal so you don't want to you know um, but yeah that's pretty much how I, I do my work I don't know if this helps you guys out or if I confused the shit out of you I'm sorry if I did but I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet because man if I add everything in there this video is gonna be so long and nobody's gonna want to watch it I'm gonna bore the shit out of them but anyways to recap I try to stay away from bid work I try to work just by the hour and when you show up, tell them, say, hey, you know, it's this much an hour. And if they want to give you, a, give them like an estimate, just tell them, say, well, you know, it could take me a half to a whole day. So it'll be anywhere between here to here. Most people, you tell them that and get them in the ballpark. Usually they're all right, unless you have to work for a company that's uh, like, the towns and townships and cities and stuff they're a little more picky on that stuff on wanting um, actual price but then that's where you put in due to unseen circumstances add that in your proposal that way you're covered and as far as material take your deposit on anything over I mean I don't know your situation you might want to cover it all but I got to the point to where I didn't want to cover no more than like a hundred bucks because I mean you never know because uh, I had a job I bought fourteen hundred dollars worth of material one time and they ended up not even doing the job so I I charged them I just took them the bill I mean they paid it they wouldn't I've done a bunch of work for them and I mean they didn't have no big deal so it is what it is they covered it and they didn't say nothing about it but uh yeah that's pretty much it i mean just like i said just try to work it out by half days and days i mean it's it really comes with experience and uh once you get once you figure out how long it's going to take you to do this you can kind of add this to like a different job you haven't done you're like well this is kind of like this so i know and keep a really good record of your work on how long it took and what you've done and the material you used and how much about how much consumables I mean if you use the whole box of consumables put you know I use 50 pounds of weld rods or I used two spools of MIG wire and I used you know two bottles of oxygen and a bottle of acetylene or whatever put that in there that way you know you can kind of go with that too keep good track of that and then eventually you'll just you know you'll show up on something you'll be like hey that's 500 bucks and you will hit your mark every time you'll finish and I mean not a big deal But really it's a trial and error process just in the beginning uh, really 
give them a wide range. I mean, you ain't got to be no 200 to whatever. To say you can't go in there and be like, yeah, it'll be anywhere from 50 to 1,200 dollars. Um, I mean, you can't really do that. But if you can get in the ballpark and kind of stay in the ballpark enough to cover you, and they're happy to, I mean, you'll be fine until you get everything figured out. But anyways, I will get on them other videos. Um, I might make another one this evening. But I, I really appreciate everyone for watching and subscribing. I mean, holy crap, I got almost 30 subs right now. I think it was 29 when I checked this morning. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like this, I mean, I really do appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, I mean, it means the world to me because I'm having a blast and I feel like I'm doing somebody some good. But yeah, I want to thank all y'all again. I mean, I know I've repeated myself over and over, but I really do appreciate it. And but if this video isn't doesn't help you out, if it's unclear and you need more advice or whatever, just just leave me a comment and I'll try to do another one a little better. Maybe break it down on some paper for you or something. I don't know, but but yeah, that's how I do my stuff, quick and on the fly. Because usually they'll call and be like, "Hey, you know, how much for this?" and I tell them, you know, it'd probably be around this much. I'll go look at it and say, well, it's this much. And if I need to buy a bunch of material, I need this much in a deposit to cover some of the cost of stuff. And I do a uh, do a two-hour minimum, too. I should have put that in the beginning because half of y'all probably won't even watch this till the end. But anyways, uh, if somebody calls you and says, hey, it takes 10 minutes and it's 45 minutes from your house or whatever I mean charge them a minimum and usually that'll weed out the ones that don't want to pay to that don't really need it that they're just I don't know I guess tire kickers but but yeah anyways uh, I really do appreciate everybody again and I'll get on them other two videos here in the next I might try to make both of them this evening and split them up if I get time but I want to thank all y'all, and everybody be safe today, and I really appreciate every one of y'all, and I'll catch y'all next time.